Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the next installment of my 2017 Beauty Favorites series. We're calling it a series now. And these are all of the absolute best of the best powders, setting powders, loose powders, translucent powders, foundation powders of 2017. Now, as per all of the other videos, this includes a combination of powders that I recently discovered in 2017. And it also includes all of my favorites that I basically cannot stop using from other years, yeah. <laughs> please leave the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what product category you wanna see next. Let's do the powders. First up, the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. This one is probably my most used, well, one of the most used powders in my entire collection. I've been using this for years on myself and for on clients. Um, it does look kind of quite powdery if you really, really pack it on when you first apply it. But if you've got an oilier skin type, this is the powder that is going to pretty well see you through the entire day. Really mattifies the skin, really controls oil production. It stays looking beautiful and non-cakey throughout the day. It's just, it, it, it can look a little bit powdery when you first put it on, but it is an actual lifesaver for oily skin. I love her so much. You can bake with it. You can use it as a normal setting powder. You can apply it underneath your foundation, um, you know, to, to control the oils as they come through. It, it's amazing. You've heard me talk about it a million times. A million. Next up, the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. This is another translucent powder. This one actually behaves, works, acts, looks very similar to the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. It's basically just the Cover Effects version. I do really love this one as well. I do use this one all the time as well. Again, for baking and just for general setting, it works beautifully on the skin. I don't have any issues with flashback in flash photography. I don't have any issues with caking or, you know, just making your foundation look really gross. It's another really, really beautiful, beautiful setting powder. Um, yeah, if you're into translucent powders, you'll like this one. Okay, next up, I got a couple of drugstore options. So the Coty Air Spun Powder. This is an extremely affordable powder. Kind of hard to get your hands on here in Australia, but it is doable. I've got the translucent extra coverage. I love the way that this makes my skin look. It makes everything look so beautiful and airbrushed. It really diffuses fine lines and pores and just texture and all that amazing stuff. This is so affordable for those of you, I don't know, in the States or in the UK. It's it's about $6 somewhere though. It's, it's insane. And it's amazing for baking. If you are someone who really loves to bake, you know, their concealer or their foundation, foundation to really lift and highlight and just set everything down, this is going to change your life. The only thing that I will say is it does have quite a strong fragrance to it. Uh, personally, it's a little bit too much for me, but I do know now, thank you to all of you who actually let me know about this, I do know that it does come in an unscented version. So if you hate scents, probably grab the unscented version. Again, it's another translucent loose powder. Oh, look at it flying up everywhere. Oh, I can smell it. Damn. Next up, I've got the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This was another new discovery in 2017, and where has this been my whole life? Oh my gosh. This one's actually a mineral-based powder, and I would call it kind of translucent, but with a tint. It does come in a bunch of different shades. Really amazing for controlling shine, and even more amazing for just blurring out the skin and making it look like you've photoshopped your face. It's really, really cool. <laughs> I personally think that out of all of the drugstore powders that I'm going to mention in this video, this one is the best of the lot. Like, this one takes the cake. It's just, it looks so beautiful on the skin. It lasts so well. Even if you've applied your foundation and you're thinking to yourself, oh gosh, it's not looking cute. Like, my face isn't looking cute. Put this on and it completely changes it and all of a sudden your face is like smooth as a baby's bum. This stuff is amazing. You need it. <laughs> I did do a whole review video on this one recently-ish, recently-ish, I think a few weeks ago. I'll link it down below, but I do go through like a full, you know, wear test application, all of that, so you can see it really close up. I did it with the Cody Air Spun too. Or dude. Another drugstore option, the NYX Set It and Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. This is a funny story because I have actually had this in my drawer, like my drawer of unused, you know, makeup to test in the future. Kind of forget about it, not gonna lie. I've had this in my drawer for oh, a year and a half, over a year and a half. I was going through that drawer, um, I don't know, maybe a few months ago now, and I pulled it out and I was like, ah, I think I was looking for things to do first impressions on. And I pulled it out and I was like, oh, I can't really find another powder, so I guess I'll try it today. I wish that I tried this 10 years ago. This stuff is so nice. It is so beautifully finely milled. It's silky smooth on the skin. It does the same basically as all of the other powders in this video. It just blurs everything out. It mattifies. It will stop the shine throughout the day. 
really amazing for touching up. And if you guys know me, I love to touch up with a setting powder and a beauty blender sponge. I just think that it's the best way to really press and mattify the foundation without, you know, kind of altering it and shifting it and wiping it off. Honestly, this stuff, mm. this one is another mineral based powder and it does come in different shades, um, similarly to the Maybelline one. So yeah, you're going to have to choose a shade. It's got fancy description. Silica based therefore fills fine lines, acts as an optical diffuser by reflecting light, thus softening the appearance of fine lines and pores. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. Next up, I've got the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is an oldie but goodie. I have been talking about this powder here on my channel for ages. This is a pressed version. Um, you've probably seen a bit of a trend. I am a sucker for a translucent loose powder. I just feel like it looks the best on the skin and it's just the most, like, least cakey. That makes sense but honestly the Rimmel Stay Matte powder is a beautiful 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 line of pressed powders it comes in different shades it also comes in a translucent this one's got minerals in it to control shine this one is going to help blur fine lines pores wrinkles all of it I just love this one because it's so easy to touch up with you know how sometimes a pressed powder you know, you'll touch up with it and you're just like, mm. it just looks like I've put a layer of extra texture over the top of the oil and it hasn't really helped anything at all. I know that. I've been there. It's it's a struggle. <laughs> but with this, you can genuinely touch up your foundation. You can touch up anything. You can set your foundation with it really, really easy. Chuck it in your handbag, good to go. Um, I, I mean, I know that I've spoken about it a million times, but I just consistently use it. I can't stop using it. I've always got one in my handbag. I've always got one in my suitcase. I've, my entire house, I feel like it's filled with these. I use them all the time. They're amazing. Next up, I have another pressed powder. And it's funny, this is one of the products when I opened it and I was like, Really, I was so cynical. I just, I basically thought it was just going to be the worst product ever. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. Sheer to full coverage finishing belt. What? Which part is the name? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's this powder, guys. I think it's the CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. This is a really amazing powder foundation slash finishing powder. I'm not personally a fan of using this one just basically as a powder foundation. I, my skin doesn't seem to really enjoy it. But oh my goodness, this over top of another foundation. You will never see your skin look more perfect. It is actually ridiculous. This one's also brilliant for dry skin types. It doesn't kind of cake. It doesn't... Uh, you know, like crunch up, crease up, cake up, all of that. <laughs> it makes the skin look really smooth. It's really fantastic for more mature skins. And it also does have 50 SPF in it. So really good for everyday makeup wearers or for those of you who are, you know, in the sun a lot and things like that. It is just so good. And I opened it. I'm like, a CC powder? No. I know that I'm going to hate that. I know I'm going to be greasy and oily and gross and textured and cakey and ugh. Then I applied it over my foundation and I was like, oh. Really? Okay, next up I have the Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder. This is a really different kind of powder to all of the other powders in this video. This is a powder that you can actually either use on your skin before foundation, on your skin after foundation to set it, or you can actually mix it into your foundation to turn any kind of, I don't know, dewy, glowy foundation into a more mattified formula and a more full coverage formula. It's like this is a really cool... It's like a cool concept. I'm into it. I am. This is a translucent powder and it is... Honestly, so ridiculously finely milled. This is the most finely milled um, out of all of the powders that I've mentioned here. Honestly, it makes your skin feel like absolute silk. It definitely mattifies foundation. It definitely increases the coverage of foundations. I just don't even know how this works, but it works wonders. I did do a whole review video and like demo and test on this one. So if you are interested in seeing that, I will link it down below. It's a really cool concept and I just think well done Urban Decay for doing something different and it genuinely does like what it's meant to do. It mattifies the skin, it blurs the skin, it will set your makeup and keep it in place all day long. It is gorgeous. I did that review video quite a while ago now and I have genuinely continued to use this. I quite often will mix it in with other powders to just make my skin look even smoother. Haven't really been mixing it so much because my Estee Lauder Double Wear, like she's good on her and she's fine. <laughs> but honestly, amazing powder and yeah, if you're interested in playing and if you're interested in playing with a powder that's a little bit different to everything else, like a bit of a science experiment, you'll enjoy this. Next up, I've got this one from Chanel and I know that that's like super bougie and expensive and it seems really unnecessary and I'm totally with you and I'm not going to lie, I originally purchased this because I was like, Chanel, the packaging looks amazing, I just want to take photos of it. 
I promise you that is the reason that I initially bought this. This turned into an incredible, incredible holy grail. Now, I will say I've tried a bunch of Chanel makeup, pretty much haven't liked any of it. I, I just, I don't think that it's incredible quality makeup as far as makeup artistry goes. Um, and as far as, you know, how I kind of use makeup, I hate the foundations. I really don't like them. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. Holy crap. It is like this powder wasn't made by Chanel. This is next level when it comes to setting powders. This here is the powder that I used on all of my models, all of my freelance clients, all of my brides, all of my special occasion clients. Everybody this will look good on. It is fantastic for dry skin, normal skin, oily skin, textured skin, uh, mature skin. Basically, there's no way that you will not be able to get this to work for you. Now, this is a tinted translucent powder. I should tell you what it's called, shouldn't I? This is their Natural Finish Loose Powder. It is a tinted translucent powder. Now, it does come in this massive container, but, um, you know, I've had mine for ages and I'm sort of like really just on the last like little bit of it. It will last you a really, really long time. It is expensive, but at the same time, like I said, it will last you a really, really long time. This powder is so lightweight and so beautiful. It will mattify, you know, any area that you apply it but without making it look so matte that your skin doesn't look real it's super super finely milled and silky and you cannot it's like basically undetectable on the skin it transforms foundation like if your foundation is kind of looking like a little bit ugh, not so good put this on and it basically just I don't know it's like it erases the foundation and makes it look like skin again this has got to have some kind of magic in it like I just I'm continuously blown away by this I've been using this for um, I feel like five years now, four or five years. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing, amazing setting powder. And I, I really, I mean, I know it sucks because it's Chanel and it's like, oh my God, I could pay my mortgage with that money. I get it. But this is the one, you know, bougie, high-end designer brand product that I actually think is worth every cent. And then lastly, the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Powder. I discovered this one a few months ago and I have been using it quite literally every single day since. I absolutely love this stuff. This is a translucent loose powder. Again, it's a bit of like a pattern here, isn't there? Beautiful, loose, translucent setting powder. This one actually is scented like peach, and it also does kind of have a slight pinky kind of tint to it. I mean, you're probably not going to be able to see it because it is a translucent powder. It really brightens up the skin. It really brightens up the under eye area. When you use this to set and bake your foundation and your concealer, it will make your skin look so beautifully smooth. It keeps your face shine free and matte for the longest time. Like you can apply this in the morning. You'll be good to go all day pretty well. Obviously, you have to pair it with a mattifying primer and foundation. That's a given. <laughs> and it just, it's so enjoyable to use because it smells so good. And when you dust your face with it and you get a little bit of residue on your lips, it actually tastes like peach as well. And I know that it's like, oh, like strong fragrances, like add-in fragrances, like chemicals, all of that. Normally, that makes me go, oh, like I don't want that on my face. That is not going to work for me. But... Too Faced has done a bang on job with this powder. It is beautiful. I need to buy several backups because you can't actually buy it in Australia, which is so annoying. I need several, several backups of this one. It is so good. Their entire um, Peaches and Cream collection was just amazing. I'm so impressed. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. Those are my top 10 powders from 2017. Um, it was a really tricky one. Obviously, there are a lot of other powders that I really do like and believe in, but I had to, I had to cut it off somewhere. There's a point where you just got to stop. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed today's edition of my Beauty Favorites 2017. If you haven't seen the other videos in this series, I will link them down below for you. I hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm about to take Brian into the hairdressers. You should see his hair. It's like basically nearly growing over his face. <laughs> I love you all so much and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!